Hello everyone and welcome to a new series that I would like to get going, more of a user interactive experience because with the with the Minecraft videos that I used to do, there was a lot of interaction between, you know, my subscribers and myself and currently as it is, there isn't as much interaction going on as I'd like. Uh, there is Facebook and Twitter, but you know, YouTube still uh, a lot of you guys, you know, are on YouTube as opposed to Facebook and Twitter. So I want to get this going, it's kind of going to be like Minecraft Adventures, if any of you remember that. I was just talking about stuff that, you know, was on my mind or something that really meant a lot to me. And then, you know, talking to you guys about it in the comment section below and just, you know, being able to discuss stuff with each other and be open and just have these really cool conversations. And uh, that's what I'd like to get going again. Now, of course, you don't have to participate in this, maybe you just want to listen to me talk, which is cool too, because in these videos I would like to do, you know, once a week, and I would like to give some thanks to some people that donated to me, you know, gifted me games, or just really cool people and stuff. Uh, that's what I would like to do with this series, so we're going to start off with that real quick. I actually have a rather long list, because a lot of people were super epic during the Steam giveaway. I want to thank Xiao Tin, I think I'm saying your name correctly, who donated me Ask Creed. That's what I wrote. I wrote Ask Creed. It's pretty obvious as to what that is. I want to, I want to thank David for donating $5. Thank you, David. Uh, Kyle, who actually donated the entire Square Enix complete package on Steam, which thank you so much. That is amazing. Thank, thank you, honestly. Uh, T. Kupika. I talked to you on Twitter. I don't know how to pronounce your name. Uh, she also donated me a game. And Dojorun. E. Dojo Rune. Uh, you also donated me, donated me a game on Steam, so thank you very much for that. Uh, if anyone, you know, donates to my PayPal or gives me a game, I will give you a shout out just because you're awesome. And I think someone else donate, donated me something to... I think it was Monday Night Combat, I think. I, I'm sorry if I forgot your name. You'll see me on Steam, so you can be like, Douchebag, why didn't you shout me out? And my Steam is in the description below as well as the Facebook page for my you know my solo project band thing that I got going on if you'd like to follow that get you know specific music updates about what I'm gonna doing I will be frequently visiting that a lot more once you know more people actually start liking it because as of right now it's almost pointless to update it it's like oh sup I'm making a song and like one person's like that's cool you should name it after me that kind of stuff. But anyways, those links are in the description below, so if you would like to add me on Steam, I do talk to as many people as I can on there. Sometimes I do get a million messages. Okay, enough of that. We're going to talk about the topic of this video, which is going to be dreams. So, I don't know if I'm going to specifically stick to stuff like this, or maybe if it's just random stuff that happened through the week, you know, maybe like that whole Casey um, trial incident thing that went on, which there is a lot to talk about with that. We're not going to be talking about that, we're going to be talking about dreams and and just how how I feel about dreams and maybe how I've gone about and pursued dreams. Uh, probably the biggest thing anyone is ever going to face when they have a dream, say, let's just take my thing. My dream of being a musician, you know, making music into my career, doing all that, I would. that is my dream, that has been my dream since I have been a child. And, like, I remember when I was... <sighs> I remember when I was six and I got a Will Smith CD. You're probably all laughing at this right now. It was like the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. I was like, oh, I love him. He's so awesome. And I got that and I was like, I want to make music when I grow up. And I constantly listened to so many different types of music as I was growing up. I had this very wide array of genres that I listened to. And um, it's just always been something that I've wanted to do, even when I wasn't 100% sure. It was just like, I want to make music, even though I don't know how I would do that. Because, you know, when you're 12 or something, you're like, man, these people that are making music must be super talented to know what they're doing. But then you look at someone like Kesha, and it's like, well, no. <laughs> um, but I would love to do that. And the thing is, there may have been a weird thing with the mic right there because I touched the USB cord on my microphone. The thing with dreams, and I would like to give maybe a little bit of hope to people out there and, you know, maybe just bring things into perspective. The thing with dreams, as I have said four times in a row, is they are something that you you have to put aside almost everything else to follow. If I want to really pursue my music, I do have to give up a lot of things, and that means sacrificing a lot of time, say, you know, school-wise, because if I'm trying to attend full-time, you know, college, 
it's extremely difficult to work on music at the same time. And even then, when you do have time to work on it, your your brain is just going to be so tired from everything you've been doing that you're just going to want to relax. Um, so that is where it really comes down, because I could go the safe route and go to college, and you'd be like, I'm going to go to college, and I'm going to do this, even though I'm not going to really enjoy it, but I know I'm going to be kind of safe because I'll be able to make money this way. But if you follow your dreams, and I mean, I might not even be in the right position to even talk about this because I really haven't done anything. I mean, the biggest thing I followed with my dreams is YouTube. I did put a lot of time into YouTube, and you know, it kind of has paid off. I've been able to make some money from this, which has helped um, put more money towards wanting to make music. I've been able to buy a synth, which has been extremely helpful in making music. Um, you know, MIDI keyboard and stuff like that. It's just... It's really difficult because no one is really going to be on your side when you're doing it. Especially parents. Because it's, it's difficult when you're a kid and you're like, I really want to do this, I want to pursue music, and your parents are like, No! You're not. You are going to go something extremely basic that everyone does, a guaranteed way, you know, you have a degree and you can make money. And you're like, well, I don't care about that, I don't care about money. When in all actuality, if you don't have any money, it's terrible. So, following your dreams is an extremely difficult thing. And, you know, I want I want to hear your guys' feedback on this if you think I'm wrong. Uh, if you don't agree with something I'm saying, feel free to leave that down there. I don't care if you give us a thumbs up or a, or a thumbs down. I Honestly, I just want to engage in a conversation with you guys because I do enjoy talking about things that I always think about, you know, I have so much things, religion, college, school, dreams, all this kind of stuff to talk about, which I'm hoping, if this is popular enough, I will continue on with this, but let's go back to just talking about dreams. This piece of paper with Elijah Wood on it. Don't... Oh, this makes me feel like a creeper. I... I want to pursue my dreams, and I have been. And I have to admit, I haven't been happier ever, honestly. Um, I have been able to work on music constantly lately because I haven't really been going to school. I kind of I took a semester off. I wanted to just see what would happen while this while I've been off on this semester. I have been able to make more YouTube videos. I've been able to make more money. I have been able to work on more songs. I've been able to relax, just you know, enjoy my time with friends, uh, with Valerie, and at the same time, you know, now I'm at a crossroads because. My parents really want me to get back in to college, and I mean, they want me to go like hardcore at it, and I am really wanting to pursue music, which is, I'm hoping if I get a decent response from my EP that I'm going to be releasing hopefully at the end of July, if not the end of July, then a little bit into August. Um, and you know, it's difficult because, hello phone, it's difficult because... My parents aren't exactly 100% on my side about this. They do know that I am a somewhat talented musician. I don't think I'm amazing, but I do think I have some talent, and if I did pursue this, I could definitely get somewhere. Um, it's just, you know, it's deciding. Am I going to really, really focus on this? And, you know, I don't really know what's going to happen. I could end up being able to make a career out of this and, you know, enjoying my life, or I could just go a safer route. And that's really how it all boils down to, because when you follow a dream, it isn't a safe, easy, you just follow this path, everything is set out for you. It is filled with lots of ups and downs, and you never know what's going to happen. It could end up as a disaster, or it could end up working as something great. I mean, there are a lot of people who who had YouTube as a dream, and they're following that now, and I, am, I feel I'm extremely happy for them, because they're doing what they love. Um, most of you might not know who this is, but Destiny, who plays StarCraft 2, getting into a little bit of nerd right now, uh, he actually live streams his games, you know, when he's playing, and he's been able to support himself doing that. You know, that's his dream, you know, just playing StarCraft 2. Uh, he's really good at that game. And, you know, like someone like me who wants to make music, um, you know, I really think you just gotta go for it. You know, and everyone's always like, oh, go to college. Go to college, you'll have a safe, secure future. But at the same time, What's the point in living your life if you're just gonna go the secure route without ever exploring anything or truly enjoying yourself? So that is all I have to say on this video. I hope you may, this might inquire you to implore more about certain things. Um, some of you might be like, you are a dumbass. You don't deserve to be speaking to people. Um, 
Some of you might agree with this. I would like to know what you have to say. Comments are very welcomed in this series. Just hit my desk. I would love to see what you guys have to say. I'd love to possibly, you know, talk to you guys about this. Maybe you have something you want to do. Maybe you want to write a book. Uh, you know, you just got to go for it. That's how I feel. You just got to go 100% for it. And if you're willing to, um, you know, give up some things, some things that might, you know, it's kind of scary to give up on, uh, I think you have to do it if you really, if you really want to go for it, because I think you could achieve it if you honestly believe in yourself. And I do believe in myself as a musician, I think I could do this. And, you know, like I have Valerie, a lot of people who know Valerie, I think she's an extremely talented artist. And if she ever wanted to focus on drawing, uh, as a living and you know seriously focusing on that I would completely and 100% just be behind her the whole time because I think she could do it so that is all I have to say for this video if you do in, if you do like this kind of series I would like to know because I would enjoy making more uh, leave a thumbs up not trying to be a thumbs up whore here I am just honestly wondering if you guys do enjoy this and that is the easiest way for me to see whether you would like to see more videos in this series so guys Hope this uh, was a little bit info informative for you. Maybe you enjoyed it. Hopefully you did. Leave your comments in the comment section below to discuss what we're talking about. If you agree, disagree, or you want to maybe ask some questions about something you're doing, uh, feel free to leave those, and I will try to respond to as many as I can. Thank you guys for being amazing subscribers. Thank you for enjoying my music. Thank you for buying my music. Thank you for supporting me as I try to do something with my musical career. I will see you, hopefully, on the next episode. My name is... Banana Pie Lord.